afternoon, everybody. Uh, um, I'll start off by just talking about uh, uh, our preseason so far. Um, uh, we've been working hard. The guys have been working hard. Everyone has been healthy. A uh, little minor injuries here and there. Guys have been really competing, you know, putting in our working on everything on both ends of the floor. Um, so, uh, you know, that off the floor, team events, things like that, just building, building the chemistry within the team with the newcomers and uh, our returning players. But uh, it's definitely been uh, an exciting time for us uh, as we prepare to embark on this new season. Um, we look forward to it. We look forward to the challenge. And uh, we all are excited about it. So after that, I'll just open this up and see, answer any questions that you guys have. Uh, we've been healthy. Uh, a couple of guys returned a little earlier um, on, but uh, the, the last person that returned uh, healthy was uh, Chance, and uh, Chance has been practicing full go for about two weeks now, heading into two weeks. Um, but he was probably earlier than that. We were very precautious with it. But everyone's here. Everyone's uh, practicing um, uh, just for just for tonight. Uh, Peter Carey, we will hold him out. He's still kind of recovering from a minor uh, sprain in his ankle. But for the most part, we've been um, whole for probably about three weeks now, close to a month. Okay, so Peter's knees are okay, so he's got his knees. Peter's fine. Okay. Thank you. No knees. Thank you. Any other questions? So in the two and a half months between you were introduced and the end of May, there was kind of this waiting period when you were uncertain about whether or not you would come back. Was there any sort of worry, and what was the reaction when you learned that he was coming back? Well, I, you know, when um, when you have those situations, um, worrying doesn't do you any good. You know, you just wish them well, and you know they'll make their decision. Um, I, to say when I got the phone call that uh, elated would would not describe it, um, the feeling of him saying he's coming back. But we also know that you know we got work to do. So um, you know, through that period, I was just really working on the program and you know trying to be prepared. I think uh, as we went through the process, we always prepared as if uh, if we would have him back, and uh, and then that's the way we operated and 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 move forward. But you know, worrying you can't worry. You know, you just gotta wish them well and you know let them go through their process. You know, he's he's improved a lot. You know, I think the one thing um, that everyone will see is uh, in the way we play right now is. Um, how disruptive he can be on the defensive end and on the side of the ball. But uh, he's improved overall, you know, decision making, jump shot has improved. Um, he's just an improved player. Um, you know, uh, I've known JJ for a long time. You know, I'm, I think I've known JJ since he was seven. Um, and uh, him and my my son um, kind of grew up together, came up together. Um, so obviously, you know, the transfer portal, his name's in the transfer portal. Uh, the first time that we uh, was able to reach out, I think um, we both had a kind of a understanding. And, uh, you know, it was kind of a, it's kind of like a reunion a little bit. So uh, again, we, you know, he knew what he wanted to do. He knew why I was calling. And, uh, you know, we got it done pretty easy. Well, that's still to be determined, but I'm, I'm excited. I think we have a lot of potential. Um, obviously, uh, you know, Jude and JJ get a lot of the attention, but we, you know, we, we, we have more, more perimeter play than we've had in the past. Um, and, uh, you know, all of these guys are competing and getting after it. So we're just, I'm just excited for the group. But the potential is there. You know, we, we, we just got to, you know, play it out now. You know, it is weird, and for some reason, um, I feel like today 
um, me speaking today, this is the loudest and clearest this speaker has ever been. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I, I've, I've, what, 12 years, I never could understand anything that was going on over here, but it's pretty quiet and loud today, but um, I'm getting used to, um, you know, stepping in and, you know, speaking on behalf of, of, the, of the program. I don't think much has changed. I just think the way we play, um, our style of play has changed. So just kind of, you know, it's always been about the work. Um, we've, uh, you know, I think that's really, you know, being in the gym and being more uh, detailed and more organized on what we need to accomplish. And obviously, we had a lot, more, we had a lot more things to work on this year because we have changed our style of play. Um, where in the past, you know, coach, we, we you know, it was, it was just different. But uh, you know, just the work. You know, the preseason is all about work, conditioning, um, getting your team to, you know, pushing your team, getting them ready physically, trying to get them ready mentally and, and collectively as a group. That's a good question. Um, I think. Uh, Obviously, the, the the biggest thing is that everyone sees is on the on the defensive side of the ball. You know, um, we'll, we'll, we're going to play man to man. Um, you know, I've been not shy about that. That's what you know we need to do. This is a group that we we have. This group that we have right here with our depth, I think it'll you know fit to what this group is doing. But even going forward, you know, we're going to play man to man. I do, I do. I believe, uh, you know, we, we had a big class come in last year um, and we returned to all those guys and we added some guys. But the one thing about the, uh, all the freshmen last year, they've all come back and improved and gotten better. And with our incoming players that we have now, it's just, it's a really good mesh. Like I, we, we have a lot of, I believe, of versatility on both sides of the ball and, you know, we have talent. So um, we will play more than, you know, six or seven guys this year. More on that, three guys who cycled into the starting lineup were Justin Taylor and Malik Brown with your Copeland. How do you think that those three in particular have developed going into this year? I think all three have developed in, in, in um, a lot of just their approach. Um, but from a skill standpoint, they've all improved. Uh, you know, you know, in particular, Quadia Copeland has really worked hard on his jump shot, and he's really improved that. And I think Malik is starting to kind of understand what he needs to do, and he's still, you know, a work in progress. But you know, all of our players, Justin, you know, he's he, he understands what we're doing. Um, he has a good feel for it. But I just think our whole group, that whole freshman class, you know, they all had different opportunities to play and get experience, and I think they've all used that and worked hard over the summer and came back and, and have improved. Adding on to that, is there anyone on this squad you think has kind of improved that no one is really looking at at this point in time or is kind of discrediting coming into this season? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think, again, I think for me and, and my staff, I think we've seen improvement through every, like I said, the, the six freshmen, but even um, the players that, that, that have come in, they all have improved under what we're doing. So th that's the one thing I'm excited about is that I think th as a group, we've, we've improved collectively. So um, I don't think it's one person you know, that, that's, that stood out. I think they all have you know, had their moments, and that's a good thing as a coach when you have that type of team that you know one day someone or one week someone stands out and the next week someone else steps forward so that's kind of how our how our preseason has been so far uh, you know my philosophy is sharing the basketball playing together um, obviously uh, I think we have um, we'll be we'll have the ability to put you know, four, sometimes maybe five guys out on the floor that could dribble, pass, and shoot. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that we, you know, whatever we do, we want to be able to have um, the correct spacing for to to accomplish whatever it is that we need to do. 
Um, but I think the biggest thing is just uh, being able to have, you know, that those skilled players out there. You just mentioned that sometimes you might have five players who can dribble. Do you see Malik Brown getting a lot of runs in at center? I mean, everything is on the table right now. You know, again, we, we have a lot of we have a lot of versatility. We have a lot of options. So, you know, um, you know, everything's on the table. So speaking more on that center position, now you've got Zion McLeod in the conversation. What makes him special? You know, a, a lot of times when you you have someone of that size, you know, you, you question can they change ends of the floor. You question their mobility laterally. He 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 can do all that very well, um, and he has a great feel for the game um, on both ends of the floor. Um, so uh, he's he's someone that you know when you when you think about a seven four guy, you know he kind of he he kind of changes your ideas about it because he can move and he's mobile. And, uh, and he has, you know, he has a good feel and touch for the, for the game. You've been here a while. Um, what would you say is the thing you're doing most to motivate the guys this season? Are you looking at last season? Are you trying to look to the future? What is your motivating factor? You know, I think um, I think everyone is obviously that when you when you're at this level, you 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 know, it's not about me motivating. Players, I think players are motivated. You know, I know that in particular this group, we have a very, very competitive group. Um, I think they all have their own personal motivations, and I have mine as well. Um, I just think that uh, when we get out here, we, you know, that just kind of we, we kind of push each other, so to speak. So it's not I'm not you know using any tactics to try to motivate them. These guys show up. They know they know what I'm about. They know what needs to be done, and we go to work. Well, I think, you know, um, Benny, he's, he's gotten a lot stronger. Um, he's really worked on his game. He's improved his shot. He's improved finishing around the basket. Um, I think you'll see a little bit, you know, him kind of his game kind of expanded a little bit more this year, you know, being able to score inside, being able to step outside. I think towards the end of, the, of last year, you started to see, you know, I think the last four or five games, you know, he really, you know, kind of sh started stepping into, you know, kind of realizing his potential. And we just want to carry that over. Unfortunately, I didn't schedule. This was a schedule that was already made when I got here. So maybe next year. <laughs> yeah. I know generally coaches can't talk about unsigned commits or recruits, but um, I wondered if we could maybe bend the rules and ask you about your thoughts of Nina committing to play lacrosse. Proud, very happy. Uh, she, uh, she, she's still got some ways to go, but she's. I'm proud of her. Hard worker. I mean, I think um, it's probably more of a buzzword, probably from the outside, on the, but on the inside of us, I think we all know um, what that means. I think um, we all know uh, what, where, where we want to be, where we want to be as a team, um, what we want to be as a program. And I think um, that's what we, we work towards every day. So um, I think it's more of a buzzword for outside, but you know we're working towards that um, every day and that's just what we do. We've got time for two more. Uh, building off that, Coach, just how confident are you in this group, not just in this year, but in the next couple to get back to that Warren standard and to maybe put a couple more bands up on the wall here? I'm very confident. You know, um, again, I have a – this team that I have right here is, uh, you know, they're competitors. Um, they, uh, they understand what, you know, what, what they want their season to be. Um, and uh, I think we got a nice mix of young guys. Um, we're not an old team by any stretch of imagination. Um, so I think we'll have a little bit of continuity, which is, you know, pretty, 
pretty hard to have in, in, uh, in, in, in athletics, but I think we have that, and I think you know we'll be able to continue to build on that, and I think it starts this year. But I'm very confident in this group of guys that we have right now to get us started going forward. Thanks, guys. See you guys sometime this year.